I consider her a special needs cat, but there's really no special needs that she has. So she just kind of scoots around on her butt um, with the legs sticking out in front of her. One day I came home and I found her on the cat tower. So she had climbed up there on her own. Every day she would do something um, new and, and it would shock us. She's got some strong abs. <laughs> So she came in with her sisters, kind of like a mild hoarding situation. She was born without hip pockets, um, which made her deformed as a kitten. She like literally just looked up at my face and I was hooked. I, immediately I was like, euthanasia is not an option. So I offered to take them and foster them because um, I, I tend to take the, the more difficult cases Right from the start, she um, she was just super sweet. The others were a little bit more scared of me. They were a little bit more cautious. She really um, took to us. Like she is the sweetest cat that you've ever met. Like she just, like it's like she looks into your soul. Like she's just the best cat ever. <laughs> So some people are not cat people, but when they meet Taffy, um, they they are. It sounds cheesy to say that I'm inspired by a cat, but it's really just watching her continue to achieve things that we didn't think that she could do really was amazing and inspired me. I also really would like more people to foster because it's been um, it's been something that really helped us. Um, my husband and I struggled for 10 years to get pregnant. Um, so in that time, we fostered over 125 fosters so far in the past couple of years, yeah. We had our baby girl and it just happened. So <laughs> it's been, it's been wonderful. <laughs> She already loves them. She adores the cats. Um, after Mama, one of her first words was kitty. She says Kiki. 